In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to calculate the density and the molar mass of the gases. Okay, we'll just probably do one of them, but we say, use the same equation for both of those. And this actually originates from the ideal gas equation. So if you know your ideal gas equation, which is PB equals NRT, then rearrange this equation a little bit. So let's just go back and uh, figure out what your uh, moles are made of. So when you when you write down the definition of your moles, so N is actually going to be equal to the mass over the molar mass. That's how you find the moles. So that's the definition of the moles. And then um, if I want to use the uh, symbols there, I would say lowercase m for the mass. And for the molar mass, I'll say mm. So that's the kind of tells you it's the molar mass here. Now, if I go back and plug that into that equation, it becomes PB equals the mass RT divided by the molar mass. Okay, And then if I rearrange this equation, you don't really necessarily have to know how you get to that final equation, but I just want to kind of show you how you retrieve that equation just in case if you forget. Uh, knowing the final equation is going to be more important. So if I rearrange this equation where I bring the molar mass on one side but take the volume on the other side, then it becomes MRT divided by the volume here. Well, if you recall, what's mass over volume? Your mass over volume is actually going to be the density. Okay, so it's going to be PM equals to density. So I will say, uh, for the density, I'll say DRT. So that's the final equation you're going to have in, in here. So if it helps you memorizing this equation, like saying your ideal gas equation is PIBNERT, is PB equals NRT, then your density equation is going to be PM dirt. That's how you want to memorize it. That's fine, but you can you have the molar mass in there. You got the density in there, so you know you could find both of those depending on if you're given the other variables. So let's try to look at this question where it says calculate the density of this O2 gas at STP. Now, if I'm trying to find the density, and obviously I'm looking at this equation to be used, which is PM equals dirt. Okay, and uh, well, I don't. Um, I'm trying to find the density, so I need to make sure I have the pressure, uh, the molar mass, and the temperature. And I know the R is going to be constant there. What's the molar mass going to be for oxygen gas? Well, since it's an O2, go back and look up in the periodic table. Each oxygen is 16, so the molar mass is going to be 32.0 grams per mole. Okay, then you want to look at what the pressure is going to be. Now, in this particular case, they said it's an STP, but they very well could give you the pressure and the temperature separate. Okay, so at STP, your pressure is going to be one atmosphere, and uh, the temperature is going to be 273. Kelvin. Okay, you may be seeing uh, books using 273.15 Kelvin. That's fine as well, but you know it doesn't really make a big difference in the calculations. So let's say um, when you look at uh, to find the density, if I rearrange this equation, it's going to become pressure times the molar mass divided by RT. So I know everything now. So the pressure is one atmosphere. So I'll just go ahead and write down the units there. Your molar mass is going to be 32.0 grams per mole. And you want to divide that by the R, which is going to be 0 0.0821 atmosphere liters, moles minus 1, Kelvin minus 1. And then times your temperature, which is going to be 273 Kelvin. So you want to make sure you cancel out all the units that would cancel out in this particular question. Sorry about that, it's acting up. So your atmosphere goes away. Okay, then you can say your 
moles will go away as well. And then I can say your Kelvin will also go away. So then what's left behind is your change the color there. Uh, what's left behind is your grams and your liters. So it's going to be grams over liters, and that's the units for density because it's mass over volume. So when you do this math here, so you got 32 divided by 0 0.0821 times 273. So it comes out to be 1.43 grams over liters. That's going to be the density for the oxygen gas at STP. Okay, uh, well, this is measured in liters, so don't take that as grams per milliliters because, you know, if you take that as grams per milliliters, then it's coming out to be big, uh, the density coming out to be bigger than the density of water, which is not the case here. The, the density of the gas is much less than the density of solid and liquids. Okay, so that's how you're going to be calculating the density using this uh, PM dirt equation, which is actually retrieved from the PV equals NRT. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave in comments below.